Hello and welcome back. This is going to be a few videos covering on how to reverb certain elements within your drum and bass tracks. And on this one, I'm going to quickly cover how to reverb your snare drum so it sounds really nice. So let's jump into it right now. Because the snare and the kick drum are both within the same bus group, we don't want to be adding this plugin to the bus channel because then it'll end up adding reverb to the kick drum as well as the snare. And we just want to reverb the snare. So if we go to the snare drum instrument here and we add a reverb, remember the reverb needs to also be in a mono plugin because it's a mono element within the track. If I just quickly load the default patch, the snare will sound like this. Now obviously that's way too much reverb. We're only after just a tiny little bit. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to reduce the size of the reverb first. So let's bring the distance down. I usually like to put it at all at the nine o'clock position. The same with the size, the same with the dry and the wet, and also the same with the decay. Bring it down to nine o'clock. Now if we listen to it, now we've got a much more tighter reverb and it's now going to fit nicer within the mix. The next thing that we want to do, which is really important, is we want to tell the reverb plugin which frequencies in the snare to actually apply reverb to and start the reverb after the boxy section of certain drum elements. So on this one here, I'd recommend to change the frequency and change it to 500 to 550 hertz. And then the very top end, how high up the frequency range we want the reverb to go, is we want it to go all the way up to say 17K. Okay, so if we quickly listen to it all together with a bit of reverb on the snare, it sounds like this. So that's it, that's all you have to do just to reverb your snare and to select the correct frequency ranges that the reverb plugin is going to apply the reverb to. And then on the next couple of videos, I'll also show you how to do it for the breaks and the amens and then also the top loops. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.